The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Space, the final frontier. Led by CERN and its Large Hedron Collider. Mission to prove God wrong. Cancer European pour la recherche nucléaire. European Council for Nuclear Research. CERN's main function is to provide the particle accelerators and other infrastructures needed for high energy physics research. Consequently, numerous experiments have been constructed at CERN through international collaboration. CERN is the site of the Large Hedron Collider, LHC, the world's largest and highest energy particle collider. The Large Hedron Collider, LHC, located on the Fresco Swiss border near Geneva, Switzerland, is an impressive scientific marvel. It consists of a 27 kilometer, about 17 miles, ring of superconducting magnets that accelerate particles to near the speed of light. It cost more than $4 billion to build CERN. The LHC cost $13.5 billion to prove the existence of the God particle. The machine, the world's largest collider, was used in the discovery of the Higgs boson God particle in 2012, nearly 50 years after the particle was proposed by Peter Higgs. The theoretical physicists at the University of Edinburgh and several other researchers, the feat was honored with the Nobel Prize in Physics the following year. But since the discovery of the Higgs boson, the collider has not revealed any significant new physics that might shed light on some of the deepest mysteries of the universe, such as the nature of dark matter or dark energy, why matter dominates over antimatter, and whether reality is permeated with hidden extra dimensions. The world's biggest machine to recreate the conditions of the Big Bang. This detector is to show how energy became matter in experiments deep below the Earth. Science fiction has become reality. What we're trying to do here is trying to understand the universe, understand why it is the way it is. For example, we have no real idea of why we're here at all, why we have any substance to us. So I can feel I'm a, a solid object, but the, our mathematical theories tell us that that shouldn't actually be the case. But those mathematical theories may tumble once scientists manage to smash particles together at the speed of light. Then they'll examine the debris, hoping to find the smallest building blocks that make up the universe. Collisions at these energies go on all the time in the universe around us, in the sun for example, but we haven't produced them in a controlled manner in a laboratory before, and that's what we're doing here. The laboratory is this tunnel, 27 kilometers long, running under Swiss and French territory. Over a thousand giant magnets were put in to boost particle speed. But just after its opening, everything went drastically wrong, forcing a complete shutdown for many months. An electrical connection between magnets uh, failed. And it was a short circuit which sparked off uh, a series of secondary events which actually created quite a lot of damage. The 2,500 scientists working here are impatient to resume their quest for the secret of the universe, a quest which some have seen in religious terms, but that doesn't cut much ice here. It's not like, you know, sort of God will appear in, a, in our detectors. That's, uh, that's, that's not how it works, you know, sort of. We smash things together and suddenly, <laughs> hello. Yes, you, you, you found me. Um, well done. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not like that. Probably not, but this huge research centre could rewrite the science books. And for many, that's as close to the divine as we'll ever get. At one point, we thought the world was flat. Until explorers pushed into the unknown. At one point in time, we thought that sun orbits around the Earth. Until we look farther. 
Without explorative science, we wouldn't know what we know today. But all of our modeling makes up only 5% of the known universe. To explore the big questions. To give us one theory that can explain what we see. We need to examine some of the smallest elements. So at the moment we have the uh, Large Hadron Collider, LHC. We achieved discovery of the Higgs boson. The future circular collider, FCC, will be the next instrument that we have to build if we want to continue to be in the path of discovery. Uh, plan for a post-LHC era. The motivation for what we are doing is basically curiosity. There's no clear hint on where nature could hide its secrets. To explore more intense collisions, we need a bigger collider. Physically, it's a much longer tunnel. This future circular collider, we're looking at a tunnel 80 to 100 kilometers. Basically, what we can fit into the Geneva Basin. With the FCC, we can go much, much further. We will need all the people of CERN, but all the people also worldwide. Science knows no borders. There is a lot more to, to learn still, and we have to. If we stop exploring, then, then basically we, we stop evolving. Discovery of the Higgs boson was a big deal, but this is only the beginning of the story. We scratched the surface, but we, we, we have clearly much more to, to discover. I'm Dr. Astrid Stuckerberger. I'm an expert in health science, population aging, public health. I have a PhD. Um, I have a Master of Science in Mental Health with WHO. And very early on in my career of 30 years of uh, research, science, for politicians, for yeah, governments, for the public, for universities. So, yeah, 30 years at the University of Geneva, Faculty of Medicine, and um, other universities. I have um, been an expert and called as an expert at the European Union for innovation at uh, WHO, first on aging, which was my first topic for the 10 first years, and also collaborated a lot with WHO, but after that with ethics and uh, with pandemics, epidemics. We call it international health regulation. So that brought me to have a, a broad view of what is going on. Actually, CERN is dealing with um Radio, radionuclear research. But it is more than that because there are lots of physicians, I, I know some, they're doing very strange experimentation. There are beings from portals coming in and out. It's physicists from the CERN who told me this. They've testified so is, to beings coming in and out of portals. Yes. They have apparently in the bottom of the CERN uh, this, this portal, this door where they are dealing with all the subatomic uh, dimensions. They say there are 17 different dimensions of reality. That's what the, those physicists say. Some others say there are more dimensions, you know. And now, when you look at what is going on in the CERN, there is a fight from some of the military um, agencies, uh, Intel. They say that there is a, a fight on time. They're trying to change time. CERN's logo, 666. Six, six. Sheba is the destroyer, and they, CERN, have its statue out front, presented by the Department of Atomic Energy of India. Shiva is revered as the supreme being within the Shivite tradition. He is the creator, protector, and transformer of the universe. Shiva also known as Mahadeva, is a principal deity in Hinduism. He holds the role of the destroyer. Shiva embodies both destruction and regeneration, a cosmic force that transforms and renews. They had as king over them the angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek is Apollyon, that is, destroyer. This calls for wisdom. Let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. That number is 666. Six, six. A new super collider that's been approved by CERN makes the LHC look small in comparison.
with a circumference of over 62 miles, the future secular collider FCC would be four times bigger and six times more powerful than the current particle smashing machine and cost $23 billion. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, better known as CERN. The FCC's $23 billion cost will require investments from EU member states and CERN participants. Along with a commitment to continue funding until the 2050s, CERN may also need to turn to other nations for financial help, including the US, China, and Japan. Assuming the financial backing is secured, construction could begin by 2038, and it will take around 10 years to build the new machine meaning it wouldn't be operational until the 2040s. The first step involves a geological survey to ensure there are enough underground lakes or other features beneath the Geneva site. The new super collider would also allow scientists to study more precisely how Higgs bosons decay. Some theorize that they decay into dark matter particles. The current Large Hadron Collider is in the process of being upgraded and is due to restart in May 2024, running until the end of 2024. Its final run is expected to begin at the end of 2027. So, what's the problem? CERN, the new frontier, a $28 billion proposal, the LCC, a much bigger and better super collider that will take them far into the outer reaches of space where no man has ever gone before. Piercing into the abode where spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places resides, and by cosmic powers of suggestion and influence has darkened the minds of the inhabitants of the earth, who in this present age continues to keep those in darkness from seeing the light. CERN, a proponent of scientific discovery and technological innovation, are also spiritually deceived by these evil forces and are working as agents, foot soldiers against God. Both international collaboration and the unknowingly demonic powers, authorities, and rulers of darkness led by Satan has given them financial and supernatural support. To both discredit the existence of God and God as the creator of heaven and earth and prove otherwise by the powers of darkness and mathematics, the Darwinian theory, the Big Bang, and the subsequent evolution of the universe in all its glory and splendor, including life as we know it. Who is really behind the numbers? CERN comprises 23 member states. As an official United Nations General Assembly observer, CERN hosts about 12,400 users from institutions in over 70 countries. With an estimated $1.25 billion annual operating expense, 70% of it comes from its 23 state membership and the remaining 30% from non-member donations. Here's a list of contributions over 50 plus million for the year 2023. Just as the people of Babylonia disobeyed God's command to stretch out the land, they, together in pride and with one language, tried to build a city and tower to reach heaven and make a name for themselves. God, who knows the heart, over time showed grace and mercy, but now judgment was enacted and rejected their plan and created new and different languages for them that they couldn't understand one another and they ceased working and went their different ways Today, CERN's scientists are many people who speak different languages, but understand many languages. And unlike the people of Babylonia, who built a tower above land to reach heaven, they went below land and built a super power collider to reach heaven. 
Their motive? No different to make a name for themselves. Yet God, who is full of grace and mercy and knows the heart, immediately after testing their collider, its magnets failed, and for many months they did not heed the warning of God. Like the fate of the people of Babylonia, who are known today as the people who built the Tower of Babel, God will eventually stop and halt CERN's progression and allow this generation to come up with an identity for the people of CERN and its super collider. Elon Musk said that CERN's Large Hedron Collider is demonic technology. Stephen Hawkins said that the collider could destroy us all. However, God says, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. God has already done all of the work. All you must do is receive in faith the salvation God offers. Fully trust in Jesus alone as the payment for your sins. Believe in him and you will not perish. God is offering you salvation as a gift. All you have to do is accept it. Jesus is the way of salvation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you for watching, and may God through Jesus Christ both bless you and yours, and keep you safe, now and forever. Amen.